สบายดี Very warm welcome to this L N T V English News Bulletin for Tuesday, the 20th of April, from Vientiane Capital. And in our top stories, Foreign Minister receives Japanese guest. Laos and Vietnam ink sea port agreement as a common cargo port for both countries. Ministry of Information and Culture advised to work harder on transparency. Cultural performances prepare to mark 450th anniversary of b i n g j i n as capital in November. b u n b i m a i l a o wrapped up a truly memorable festival. And now we begin firstly with Dao Huang Group to construct an instant coffee factory. Local coffee trader Dao Huang Group kicked off the construction of its instant coffee factory last Friday, after the completion of its own instant coffee coffee processing plant, which invested about 50 million U.S. dollars. Dao Huang Group will no longer have to ship co- coffee beans overseas to produce its instant coffee. The newly Dao Huang Group instant coffee processing plant is located at Non Savat Village in Ba Jiang Jalan Suk District, c h a m p a s a k Province, in the south of Laos. Speaking at a ceremony to launch the construction project, c h a m p a s a k Province Governor Son s a i Si Pandon said the processing plant would boost the province's economy and add value to the Lao coffee product. He expressed his appreciation to the Dao Huang Group, which remains a leading business model in Laos. It is said that the future factory of the company is expected to produce 8,000 tons of coffee annually to ensure its production of 3,000 tons of instant coffee. The construction is expected to be over in November in 2011. A ceremony to launch the construction project in Jampasak Province was attended by former Lao President Kam Tai Si Pandon and Standing Deputy Prime Minister Som s a v a t Leng s a v a t High-ranking officials from the province and company staff also attended the ceremony. Established in 1998, the Dao Huang Group is now a leading coffee exporter and producer in the Lao PDR. The company produces around 3,500 to 4,000 tons of coffee annually. According to the group president Liang Li Dang, the company decided to make the investment because it saw a stronger demand for Lao instant coffee products in both domestic and overseas markets. The capacity of the factory is 3,000 tons of instant coffee per year. Most of that will be exported to other countries in Asia, including Thailand, Vietnam, Japan, Malaysia, and Singapore. Buyers in Europe have also reportedly contacted the company and are interested in purchasing the product. With only 5 to 10 percent of the factory's total output expected to remain in Laos for local sale, it is disclosed that. Production will begin once the plant is completed in November next year. It is expected the factory will provide employment for local laborers and generate steady revenue for farmers and the government. The company will use modern technologies for Germany and Denmark for production. The government approved the construction of the plant in October last year. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Tong Lun Si Sulit, received yesterday at his office in w i e n g j a n a courtesy visit of Noble Hiko Suto, member of House of Representatives Committee on Foreign Affairs of Japan, who arrived here on 17 April for a working visit to Laos. At the talks, Dr. Tong Lun s i s l i t praised and highly valued the visit to Laos of Nobuhiko Suto as a part of contribution to elaborating the results of the working session between the leaders of Laos and Japan. 
He also expressed gratitude to Japanese Emperor and Empress, government and people of Japan for their warm welcome offered to President Jumali Sayasan, his wife and high-ranking Lao delegation during the visit to Japan in March 2010. The visiting guest, Nobuhiko Suto, expressed his appreciation to Dr. Tong Lun Sisulit for his warm welcome and hospitality extended to him and his delegation. Nobuhiko Suto also briefed Dr. Tong Lun Sisulit about his working visit to Laos. Laos and Vietnam last Friday signed a joint venture agreement in Vientiane to establish the Vung Ang Lao Viet Seaport Joint Stock Company. The agreement was based on a 2001 bilateral agreement made between the governments of Vietnam and Laos to use the Vung Ang Seaport in Ha Tin province of Vietnam as a common cargo port for both countries. Hatin Minerals and Trading Corporation, representing the Vietnamese stakeholders, worked with Lao company Boom and Seaport Development, representing the Lao stakeholders, to develop the Boom and Exploitation and Development Project. The new company will have more capital and includes more stakeholders from Laos and Vietnam to enable investment, use and development of the port in line with the approved plan. According to the Public Works and Transport Minister, Somai Punsena, this signing ceremony reflects the cooperation and special friendship between the two countries and paves the way for sea transport for Laos, which will help to develop the marine export-import business. Vietnamese Ambassador to Laos Dr. Tha Minh Gia said the joint venture reflected the special attention paid by high-level leaders from the two countries specifically from 2001 to the present. It is observed that the signing ceremony took place on the first day of the new It is observed that the signing ceremony took place on the first day of the Lao New Year immediately following a visit to Laos by the Secretary General of the Vietnam Communist Party, Nong Duc Minh. This is an auspicious sign as the new year gets underway and the relationship between Laos and Vietnam strengthens. The Ministry of Information and Culture needs to work harder to close loopholes and ensure transparency among its line agencies and officials, a senior ministry official said yesterday. Some departments and institutions within the ministry had not executed their roles and observed the relevant regulations properly. Inspection Department official Anong Wong Sa told participants in a two-day meeting at the National Cultural Hall she said the departments needed to formulate more relevant regulations in managing work within their specific responsibilities, noting that management had not been systematic. According to the meeting, existing irregularities in this regard, saying that local agencies had bought low-quality products because no committee was formed to oversee the purchasing process. Some officials had not realized the importance of auditing, adding that the improvement of inspection committee's administrative structures had encountered difficulties at each level. During the two-day meeting, participants heard a draft plan for 2010 to 2015, as well as receiving guidance from the State Inspection Committee on improving the committee's administrative structure. Lessons were also heard on auditing and combating corruption in Vietnam. The nationwide meeting was shared by the Ministry's Inspection Department Director General in Tanu Nguyen Thanh Sinh.